Hey, Michael, welcome. Do you have time to answer a few questions for us? Sure. Being that you're officially a New Jersey resident, we have a very important question for you. Pork roll or Taylor ham? Pork roll. You've mentioned that you and your family have visited the Jersey Shore for the past 40 years. What's your favorite spot? Avalon, and in particular, the beach at 71st Street. Who's making the move with you into Doherty House? Well, my wife, Amy, uh, of 24 years, and then my four kids, my daughter, Grace, who's 20, my daughter, Molly, who's 18, son, Jack, who's 14, son, Brian, who's 12, and our dog, Sasha, who's about nine, our cat, Schmidt, who's about five, we think, and then we found a nice home for our tortoise back in Pennsylvania, so he will not be making the trip. What did they say when they found out your new home base would be mommy? Uh, they said, hold on a second, Dad. Did you tell me this is located at the Jersey Shore? And when I said yes, of course, they said, we're all in. Have you taken the presidential golf cart out for a spin yet? You know, I really want to, but I can't get my sons out of it. What are you currently binge watching? Well, I don't have a lot of time to binge watch, uh, so I'm not watching anything right now. However, I am anxiously awaiting the third season of The Marvelous Mrs. Maisel, so I can't wait. Giants, Jets, or Eagles? Did you say Patriots was an option? Oh, okay, well, pass, pass. If you could have one superpower, what would it be? I think uh, the ability to understand what other people are thinking. If you could have dinner with anyone in history, who would it be? President Lincoln. And a very important question from one of our students. How much can you lift? Um, that is privileged information, I'm afraid. Sorry. What's your favorite book? Basically anything from an Irish writer. What's one of your favorite college memories? I think the time I spent as a uh, junior year abroad student at the University of St. Andrews while I was at Georgetown. In what decade would you most want to live in? Uh, the 2060s, because I was born in the 1960s. What's the best life advice you've ever received? I draw inspiration from a, a quote from Václav Havel. He said that uh, hope is not a feeling of certainty that everything ends well. Hope is a feeling that our lives and our work have meaning. As a father of four, what do you want most for your kids? Is to give my kids the ability to dream. Do you have any good dad jokes? <laughs> um, I pretty much gave up on that years ago. Where did you grow up? In a town called Lutherville, Maryland, which is a northern suburb of Baltimore. What was your first job? I was a landscape. Uh, architect. Actually, I was a grass cutter, but you get the idea. So if you weren't in academia, what would you be doing? Uh, probably work in business of some kind. Outside of higher ed, what are some of the causes that are most important to you? I think um, racial and gender equality. What's your favorite type of music to listen to? You know, generally rock and roll, of course. Who's your favorite musician? Uh, U2 is my favorite uh, musician, my favorite band, uh, but I'm brushing up on my Springsteen for sure. What was the last concert you attended? Uh, the last big one was Coldplay with my daughters, uh, right here at MetLife Stadium actually. What's your go-to karaoke song? Probably Leave On uh, by Elton John. Beyond karaoke, do you have any secret talents? No, I don't think so. What are you most looking forward to as the new president? Actually meeting as many students as I can. People here are pretty special, but have you met everyone's favorite spirit animal, Shadow the Hawk? You know, I've met him, but uh, I can't say I've spent much time with him yet, but I look forward to it for sure. Did you get your tickets to homecoming yet? I got them. It's on the calendar, and I can't wait to meet as many alums as can make it. You've mentioned that spending time in the classroom is important to you. Any chance we'll catch you as a guest lecturer? Uh, only if somebody invites me. Sounds like you're going to be pretty busy. What's one thing that helps you stay grounded? Uh, my wife and kids, for sure. And as we close out this interview, what is something we may not know about you? I am the youngest of six kids, five boys, and one girl. One more question for you. 
Do mammoth hawks fly together? Of course they do. Well, Dr. Leahy, we're so happy to have you as the 10th University President and the newest member of the Hawk family. Thank you, Michael. 